And now it's time for Joel's Gnomes. Good morning. Welcome to Joel's Gnomes. I am Leander, one of Joel's Gnomes, and today's project is to start a raised bed to grow mescaline greens. Now these are those greens, uh, the lettuce that you get in bags in the store uh, or plastic containers, um, and we're going to grow them at home for virtually nothing uh, money-wise, and uh, the raised bed will keep rabbits from chewing them all up. So what you start out with is the dimensions of uh, a large bag of organic garden soil and a bunch of old junky cold 2x4s that are good for virtually nothing. So hopefully you have some of those lying around the house. Next you're going to build a support for your garden soil. Okay, the frame is done, and next we add a layer of chicken wire for additional support. Alright, we're back. We had to stop yesterday because it was raining, uh, but it's a beautiful day this morning. So, before we had to stop, we got done putting the chicken wire on base and here's what it looks like. Chicken wire adds additional support, keeps the bag from sagging down through. Uh, and now all you have to do is put this horizontally on top of sawhorses. Uh, this is going to be outside all the time so you're going to want cheap and expensive sawhorses that uh, you, can, you can either toss out in the season or you can dismantle and, um, and make again next time. So uh, also when you're handling this base, you always want to wear gloves because the chicken wire ends will slice up your hands, which they did. But uh, so for sawhorses, we're gonna make our own with sawhorse brackets. These are uh, double duty high impact polystyrene, so they're going to withhold, uh, withstand all the elements. So let's get to the sawhorses. Okay, well, we got our frame up in a nice southern spot. It gets lots of sun and warmth. Uh, we put our bag of organic garden soil on the top. And uh, what you want to do next is you add some drainage holes in the bottom of the bag. You can use a shank, a shiv, or uh, whatever sharp implement you may have lying around the house. We prefer a uh, flat edge screwdriver. And you just poke some holes the bottom for drainage. Oh yeah, Sven. I think you can do that to me. Yeah. Who's in solitary now and who's out? Yeah. Uh-huh, show you. Uh, anyway, yeah. So um, after that you'll um, add some rows that you cut out um, to keep the plastic from flying up. You might want to try out these uh, little staples that you can make out of old clothes hangers. Just shove them in on the side. and follow the instructions on the package of seeds on how to plant them. 
should plant mescaline greens for a quarter of an inch deep. seeds out. After they sprout, you need to thin them out into about Nine inches uh, apart. There we go. And just cover them up. Keep the bag nice and moist in dry weather. And in about a month, you can start enjoying organic uh, salad lettuce until hot weather. And after all the uh, lettuce is done and they start to bolt uh, when it gets too hot, you can just toss them out, rip open the bag, add your organic soil to the rest of your garden, and you're all set. So once again, this is Leander. Uh, one of Joel's gnomes and we thank you very very much for watching the videos and uh, please subscribe if you'd like to for more videos.